Ooh, here's an amazing tip. I'm studying college scholarships right now because I have a couple kids in college, one going, blah, blah, blah. And scholarship money is a big deal, right? To be able to help pay for this crazy cost of education. And I will tell you right now, not every kid needs to go to college. So with that set aside, the three of my kids that are in college right now currently have clear, um, clear professional paths that will be benefited by a solid degree. So scholarships. One of the things that when you're looking for legitimate scholarships are the ones that actually let you shine as a student, AKA there's some kind of essay in there. The harder it is to apply for the scholarship, the less competition your kids are gonna have and yada, yada, yada. So essays, I'm gonna encourage you right now, your kids might be seven, they might be nine. Open a note on your phone or get a notebook that's really super cool and write stories, scholarship stories, uh, reference stories, something. And inside, write the words who, what, when, where, why, emotion, connection, something like that. And then you're gonna use that as a copy paste template. Anytime your child does something, if they're older, they should create this file themselves as well. Anytime they do something that is amazing, you want to collect the details of that in this story bank so that when it comes time to write a college essay and they're asking things like, why do you deserve this scholarship? They can look through their story bank and find a story, a real story from their life that connects with what the scholarship is looking for. For instance, what if the scholarship is centered around community service? I can immediately think of this one time, <clears throat> excuse me, that one of my sons, they all helped with community service, but their job was to pull out invasive plants along a trail. And there was this, and he loves to do community service, but he also loves to make it fun, also loves to make it a little competitive, to inspire the other volunteers to work harder. So there was this one plant, we'll, we'll call it a plant, it was a small tree, and the professor said, oh, you won't be able to pull that out of the ground. Um, we'll have to come back with tools. And my son said, hmm, challenge accepted. So he ended up pulling out this tree and then was very proudly marching it along the trail so that he could capture the professor's jaw drop um, as she oohed and awed about this amazing job that he had done. This story shows that not only does he do community service, but that he's a team player, he's competitive, he's a hard worker, and he's also fun to be around. That's a very important story to capture so that when you're reading an essay prompt that says, tell us why you deserve this scholarship or tell us how you have participated in community service, how your student can bring that to life. Can't you see the value of that? Now I can tell you as a professional writer, I can tell you as a, a teacher that raised five amazing writers that these stories get lost unless you capture them but you don't have to write them out. You just need to capture the details. Who, son, class, what, community service, pulling invasive plants, where, along the, I can't remember what trail it was, along the blah, blah, blah trail. Um, and then emotion or connection, how he added to it, all that stuff. So open a note and start collecting stories because you can use them for scholarships, you can use them for job recommendations, you can also use them for creative writing and all sorts of things. So start becoming a story collector. Anything that connects your child to a character quality, gold. Anytime it shines your child's individuality, platinum. Anytime it shows their impact, with people around them, 
priceless.